What up YouTube? It has been far too long and I really apologize for the break. We had some issues with our personal daily driver, a 2000 Honda Accord, and it was a nightmare. But luckily we are back at it. So the good news is we have the motor together and what you're going to see in this next video is how to do your valve lash. And I'm also going to show you the short oil pan that we got from Subi stuff for Subi gears. Um, I'll make sure the right link is in the description. So. Join in for this video. Uh, there's a lot to look forward to the next coming weeks. We're gonna have a video of the motor being installed in the car. We're gonna have a video of the radiator mount being made. Um, and we're also gonna have a lot of plumbing and wiring to go through. So tune in, subscribe for more, hit the like button if you like what you're seeing, share with your friends, and let's go. All right, so now we're at the point where we can set the valve lash. Um, essentially what you're doing here is you are setting the clearance between the valve rocker and the valve when it is not engaged by the camshafts. Um, and the reason you need this is if it was just straight up always touching uh, the lobe even on the low side uh, with expansion, heat and stuff, your valves actually wouldn't close apparently. So either way, we're going to set the intakes to seven, uh, seven thousandths of an inch and we're going to set the exhaust to nine thousandths of an inch per the, basically the low ends of the Subaru spec, which is also what Delta Cam suggests for their regrinds. Um, so first thing we're going to do is, so the firing order is 1, 3, 2, 4. So we're going to set them in that exact order. So 1, 1, 3, and then on the other side is 2 and 4.
All right, so my new rocker cover bolts showed up finally. Uh, unfortunately, I lost one of them, and I could only find a way to order five at a time. But So I have five new ones, and now what I'm going to do is clean these up the exact same way I did the cam caps, um, which I'll put the link to the video here. And so we're going to do the same thing with simple grain. So here we go. Alright, so one of the last steps is putting this rocket cover on. Um, we're going to use some more gaskets that we got from the Photo Pro set. So we'll put gaskets on spark plug tubes, uh, five for each, one for each of the bolts, and then the obviously the rocket cover gasket. See, nice and clean. I may still scotch break this once it's on, but we'll see. is to, uh, there are two changes for ground clearance. So let me turn this over. Okay, so I got a set of uh, OEM STI WRX uh, headers. Thanks, Mike. And so as you can see here, the oil pan and even the oil filter actually are gonna hang a little bit lower than the headers. So what we're gonna do is Remove the factory. Here we go. Let's get this other. We're gonna remove the factory oil cooler. It's actually an oil warmer. The purpose of this is to warm the oil up uh, as the engine warms up. And then we're also we got an aftermarket shortened sump. So we'll do both of those to prove our ground clearance. <laughs> after off. And now you 
you see, this is identical to the naturally aspirated. And so this is the advantage of having a naturally aspirated block also in my garage. So I'm gonna steal a fitting that you would use if you don't have the oil warmer cooler. And I'm also gonna still plug off the block to fill where the coolant would be coming out for that cooler warmer uh, in the STI version. And now we'll also steal this coolant plug. Uh, and now one of the key things is these bolts. So this is the naturally aspirated one. This is from the turbo and it needs to be longer for that clearance for the oil cooler. So this is the trick from the naturally aspirated motor to get the smaller, the shorter clearance. I don't think I'm gonna need the oil warmer. Um, we'll just let the oil warm up. And then the other plug that we stole right here, and I'll replace that one. So we will be good to go. And we'll put the oil back on just to close the hole up. We will not be reusing this filter. a lot of space. Do that a stack above this and both of these. So you can see by removing the oil cooler we probably saved about two to three inches. So last thing we need to do for that is just replace this coolant port with a plug which conveniently we also got off the naturally aspirated block. And now, put this guy in here instead. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Fuji Bond on just to make sure I get a good seal. See a little goop everywhere. Last thing we'll do is remove the oil pan for the shorter unit. And last thing before we put this oil pan on is just get rid of any of this old gasket. The razor blade. Okay, so now we have the shortened sump. Uh, it's only held on with a couple bolts. The pickup's not in there. It hasn't been sealed up with any silicone or anything. Um, but we're just ha putting it together now for mock-up so I can route the coolant lines and the fuel lines in the actual car. Unfortunately, what I did find out is that we're gonna have to switch to a turbo, turbo water pump. My water pump is here, and as you can see, there is no way we're gonna be able to fit the outlet, um, which is fine. Um, but that means we're going to have to go back a little bit to take the timing belt off. Not a huge deal. I probably want to show you it because we've gone through it. But essentially a turbo water pump 
We'll put the outlet right here, so there'll be no issue for the exhaust coming through. Okay. This is the naturally aspirated water pump and the turbo water pump. And you can see this with the thermostat in the front, we won't run into the issue with the exhaust manifold. So that's the big difference. All right, so now as you can see with the new style water pump, we now have no issues with the exhaust running into the thermostat anymore. Now you get an idea of how nice the short oil pan in and it is, as well as removing the oil cooler, oil warmer. So see, overall, I think we gained something like two inches of ground clearance. So thank you for tuning in. Next time you watch, we'll be putting the motor into the Beetle. So if you like what you saw, subscribe for more, share with your friends, leave a comment, and I hope to see you again soon.